What is going on, Ben Nation? The end of an era is today, and we just got an update from Ben Coin, the official X account, and should be super excited about this because it's going to solve a little bit of sell pressure that might happen until the announcements are coming. Now, if you didn't tune in in the last couple of days to uh, the BitBoy Crypto Morning Show, then you missed out on a couple of statements made by Cassie and Ben indicating that they are preferring the reason that you're seeing a delay and everything is because they're preferring to get everything released on a big schedule where there's catalyst after catalyst after catalyst after catalyst to do a big propelling, if you will, of the Ben coin price all at once. You'll see it coming out one after the other, showing that all of this work has been completed. And look, it takes a little bit of time and it seems like everything is on track now. So let's get into it. But before we do, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. And let's unpack what is going on. All right, guys, first up, understanding staking. What is staking? It's a method of crypto investors to earn rewards while actively contributing to the security and functionality of a blockchain network. So uh, what you're going to be doing is you'll have an offer very shortly to stake your Bencoin tokens, and that will allow uh, for you to earn yield off of those Bencoin tokens. If you have a million right now, then staking it for a period of time will earn you a yield so that you have more than a million when you uh, are finished with that staking process. This will eliminate some of the sell pressure because the perceived notion for most people when you're staking is uh, you get more tokens. Along with more tokens, you get more value at the, in the long term because there's less pressure to sell because you're earning more rewards. And listen, there's a lot going on with Ben Armstrong always. So at some point, really, this thing just absolutely sends, in my opinion. Now over uh, for Ben... And Cassie right now, uh, it's a historic day in NYC at SBF's uh, sentencing hearing with the Duchess of DeFi. It's a big day for crypto and the closure of one of my many arcs. For the record, I take no joy in watching a man sent to prison, possibly for most of his remaining life. Well, I mean, it didn't seem like that when you were standing outside his mansion last year. Am I right, though? Uh, I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, the important thing is, what you have right now is you have the closing of an era. And guess what? There's going to be some exposure because BitBoy was the first guy. He was the first one when SBF, when we knew something was going on, we didn't. He did. So uh, we're going to close this saga out today. We're going to have some finality to it. And then we're going to be able to move on to whatever comes next. I think there's a lot coming next. So let's go check out price action. All right, guys, made a few changes here. So you can uh, simplify. wanted to simplify a little bit for you. There is the MACD, of course, showing uh, momentum is starting to move in the positive. You can see that down here, uh, the move right here, uh, the, 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 the hourlies are showing the first green candle, and it looks like that's a momentum indicator pointing towards the upside. Now, I have a range right here that I want you guys to focus on, and that is this, I, I use the volume range profile as a, as a new thing for you today uh, to kind of show you. If you look in this range, then you'll see that we're kind of at the biggest part of the node. It seems to be providing a nice level of support with the next uptick move coming into this range right here, this red line. This really is the red line we've been using for a little while, 67 as the resistance area. And then the next point of control or the next breakout moment going to be about 75, uh, followed by a quick stop at 77. I mean, we're using a shorter time frame, so you'll see that. Uh, and then 8,000 with the biggest resistance coming in at 85.91. So uh, we're looking for those big moves. Once we get those big moves, those those big plays uh, that start to happen, then that's going to be the impetus to start to propel us a little bit forward. As we zoom out and look at this on an hourly chart, you can see like this has been a real zone uh, for a while, but it's time to move up into this range right here at 86. Uh, and then you can look over here and see uh, dropping the zero at around 1,100 seems to be the next real impulse move and according to the macd there is a possibility that it's starting right now this has been kind of building up and moving in that direction plus there's some announcements coming announcements such as staking benfi newsletter things like that those are going to be moving price action they're going to be causing positive flows and the ethereum network seems to be reversing a little bit fees have been down in fact since the denkun upgrade uh, we still see high fees we haven't fixed it or solved it but the fees have been coming down, making it more likely to see some trading happening on the network uh, for smaller players and not just the big players. That's been the problem with the Ethereum L1 for a while now. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
looks like we're ready for that next move. All we need is for the team to start making some announcements, starts ro start rolling some things out. And guess what? That does come with, remember, there's going to be exchange listings. There's a lot going on, a lot behind the scenes that's happening right now. And uh, we'll give you an update on that very, very soon. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.